Hello curly families, welcome back to our channel. Today we have our first video in our day one, two, three series. This is one with center part hairstyles and we'll show you step by step of what we do each day. And first we're gonna start with a little bit from our wash day video, which we'll link down below. But after about a 10 minute wash um, and comb out, then we start with our styling products. And so here you'll see I have um, a comb. I also use a brush um, that has the bristles very far apart. That's just $5 that we got from the grocery store. And also this is a very inexpensive comb that I think came in a package, but I love that it has the pointed tip um, at the bottom that's perfect for parting hair. And so I just have it sped up here because this does take a long time. For us, it takes um, just under 10 minutes because Sweets does have a lot of hair and she has different texture throughout. Um, so framing her face is one texture, um, around the crown of her head is another texture, and then at the base of her neck is a different texture. So I use the same styling product throughout. First I I am applying the leave-in conditioner all throughout and then I am putting in the gel which is great for her hair. It adds extra hold and shine and seals in the moisture. But what I'm doing here is I'm actually just squishing in and the brush also helps me and the comb each help me to distribute the product throughout her hair to really make sure it gets through all those little strands. And um, because I've noticed when I'm not thorough with getting the product all the way through on day two and three, it's really apparent where there's patches of dry hair or patches of frizz where it just didn't get the attention that the rest of the hair did. And so I really take my time on day one to make sure that all these curl families are really coming together. And so we call them little curl families because they're just each little bunch and we just try to bring them back together where they where the curls want to lie where they want to be they each have their own curl pattern and each little section as you can see here at the nape of her neck how this hair is actually more quite wavy it's a little bit closer to my hair texture and this is where she gets most of her tangles and um, this is part that's difficult for me to trim because um, it does not have as much bounce and it doesn't, um, it doesn't require as much product. And so it is really different. And so really pay attention to that. And I just go all the way around her head. And yes, this does take longer, but um, we found that it helps to really keep the styles for day two and three. And yes, we've let it go as far as day four and five. So here is day one. And you can pick any of these styles actually to be day one. And wait, 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 mama. This, I just learned a lesson by watching my own video. So after I put the styling product, I'm parting it here and separating the curl families. And you can already see the frizz there that I created where I was separating the hairs. So I will never do that. Now <laughs> I will part her hair first before I apply the styling gel all throughout her hair and then those curl families will stay intact forever and I will not you'll see later that I have to go back and fix all of those little curl families so here I just did a little side pony and I didn't pull it all the way through the hairband and then I'm taking those ends and just wrapping the ends right around to make a pretty curly bow. And some of the little curls will hang out and it just looks adorable. So here I'll do it again where I just pull it up in a ponytail and then I'm not pulling all the hair through. So it just makes like a little bun and then I'm wrapping the ends and I'm just tucking the ends right back into the hairband. If you need, you could use a few bobby pins on either side. And then we love these DIY ribbon ties and they're just for decoration. I don't really use them for holding, but they're super cute. You can make them in colors to match any outfits that you'd like. So we love this hairstyle. And this is also um, 
perfect for day two and three, especially if you need to hide the ends. And here is day two, where what actually worked for us is when we took out the buns, they were still, the hair was still a little bit damp. And so it was really easy to refresh and restyle it for this next style, which we're still keeping that center part, as we said, but we're just doing half up rather than putting all the hair up. So I will take out um, each side and then just quickly part it, trying to be careful with those curl families again. Here I'm using a DIY spray. We did um, have this uh, spray before and then it ran out and we just refilled it with our DIY lavender oil water, um, which we'll put the instructions down below how you can do that too. But it's just some moisturizing refresh. And um, what I am doing here is twisting just the little top Portion, and I'm making a V shape from the center of her forehead, so where the part begins, all the way out. So the top of her head will have a little V shape twists. Super cute. And I love doing this with her hair because the hair that frames her face is a lot shorter. She has a lot of baby hairs there. So they do end up slipping out of her hairstyle throughout the day, and especially when she's bouncing around and um, doing gymnastics and any sport that she's into at the moment. So um, the twists really help with keeping those baby hairs tucked in. And so you can see I just did a really quick separation and she loves this. So pretty, pretty. So we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Super quick, very simple. It has a really gorgeous look and her hair is all the same length and so we love that this style actually gives it a more layered look and really shows off those curls and that volume. We've even done this same hairstyle for three days in a row, just refreshing it each time. So that's really easy for school days or just when you need the mornings to go more quickly. So I do um, take it out and just re-wet it, refresh it, and then put it back in the same exact hairstyle because the, set, the hair is already set for that hairstyle. So it's easy to just refresh it and do it all over again. So here I'm just showing a little bit of slow motion. You can see one hand I'm pressing the hair down into the bottom of the twist and then with the other hand I'm twisting it over so I get a really smooth twist and make sure all those baby hairs get tucked in. And I'm just trying to find the exact same location to line up with the other side where I parted it and just being gentle of where I'm parting it. And of course, I'm gonna have to touch up those curl families that I just split apart. Now I'm using these extra long hair bands. And so what I'm gonna do first is twist it over so it's already double looped and starting with that. And it really limits the times that I have to go around and around and around her hair. And I'm gonna pull it through all the way. And it's done, it's so much faster. So um, if you're looking for a more minimalist hair accessories, these are great because if you have thick hair, the larger bands work for ponytails and then you can just double loop it, loop it to make these um, two ponytails. Now here I'm just going to add a little bit of extra gel to the baby hairs in the front and then this is where I'm just going to put in our favorite hex hair accessories. We love bows. We'll have another video of our hair accessory organizer and that side looked great and then you can see here where I have to touch up. So those are the ones that could really be prevented if um, if you part the hair 
first before you start applying your styler. So it would save all this touch up time. But pretty much all you have to do is just re-wet it. And then here I'm just squishing it back together. I'm tapping my finger into the tiniest bit of gel and then squishing the little hairs back together again and again until I see them that they form a cohesive curl. So I'm not applying any more conditioner, um, just the water and the gel. And the back is so cute with this hairstyle, it actually looks like a heart shape. So you really don't need to do this part at all, um, but I'm just showing you all the little details if you really wanted to perfect this, if it's for a special occasion, for picture day. but otherwise it looks really, really great, has a lot of volume, super cute, she loves it. And that was day two. So like I said, we you could just refresh this for day three, or you could do another look. So this is where we still kept those twists on the top. I'm just gonna refresh those twists to see how some of those baby hairs still came out. This is the morning hair and you can see it's starting to get drier on day three now. Has more volume. So it still look great in that same day two style. And the part is there because we set the part from day one when the hair was wet and it really stayed there. So even though we did only half up on the first day, the center part was still down there. So it's super easy, retwist the top, put it up into a little pony, and you can decide where you want to put these ponies. Um, we love them up high to really show off the curls. You can put them um, down lower at the base of your neck and do the twists all the way down. That also looks gorgeous. We'll have another video of showing that. We call it the tea time twist. And this is really, really fast. This is an also another hairstyle that we've done for three days in a row. Sometimes I put them up higher and closer together, which also makes a different cute look, but you can decide. Thank you for joining us, subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you love this video. See you soon, bye.